My name is Sasha Ariel. I'm a chef here in Miami. I love hummus and today we're tasting a bunch of different ones. I guess we'll start with this one. It's definitely chunky, a little bit tart. Has a lot of cumin. I actually don't put cumin in my hummus. A lot of people do. Very chunky. Can taste like the chickpea skins, which some people prefer that, and some cultures actually do make it more chunky, but I like it a bit smoother. It's not terrible, but it's only the first one. <laughs> I'm gonna write a little note about this one. Chunky, a lot of cumin, and pretty acidic. That's kind of the thing with store-bought hummus. They always have a lot of acid and usually like citric acid to preserve it, which is like the big difference from buying something store-bought versus homemade. Really hard to replicate like fresh hummus in that store-bought product, but. We'll see if any of these compare. <laughs> so this is the second one. It's a little bit creamier. The color is a little bit lighter. The color gets lighter the more tahini hummus has, so the more sesame paste, so like the ratio from chickpeas to sesame paste. This first one definitely doesn't have a lot because it's, it is very chunky and very like beany color. <laughs> okay, so this one. Tastes totally different. Definitely doesn't have cumin. Very creamy. It's funny because I've done some events with Sabra, so I'm curious which one is Sabra? I'm like, it's possible it's this, this one. Also very acidic, but creamier. I don't hate it. Let's go with this third one. I see some pepper, black pepper flakes. Sometimes I put black pepper when I make hummus, not always. This one looks a bit similar to the first one, also really chunky, not as creamy as the third. It almost has like a raw bean flavor, like the chickpeas aren't cooked as much. I don't know how to explain that, like when you basically eat a raw bean that's been like soaked or something like a sprouted lentil that's never been cooked. So that's an interesting flavor. Don't like this one at all. Interesting. It's my nice way of putting it. <laughs> Curious the ingredients on this one because it's like very sour too, but in a weird way. Interesting slash not good. <laughs> Number four, it's very, very white very creamy this looks kind of similar to the way i make hummus um, so definitely has a lot of tahini just by looking at it pretty good heavy heavy on the tahini like i thought almost has like a peanut butter flavor texture really tart all of the store-bought hummuses are all really tart from those preservatives normally citric acid if they are ones that have like fresh lemon juice or pasteurized lemon juice, they usually don't have like a long shelf life. So that's why like they're really like sour. They have to make them really sour to last. I don't eat much store-bought hummus these days. So this is really interesting to taste them because I've been working as a private chef and one thing that all my clients want is hummus. So I've been making a lot of hummus. So this one's close to what I do, but still really, really sour. I like the ratio of the tahini when then it's creamier and then I don't feel the chickpea skins because when you don't cook the chickpeas long enough the skins don't break down and then they just like stay in there and like you feel them on your tongue. This one also looks pretty creamy You can kind of like smear it like Hummus should have a good schmear effect when you plate it or put it in a bowl. So same with this one. Definitely has a good tahini sesame ratio. Doesn't look too chunky. It also looks like it has a little bit of pepper flakes or something in it compared to the other ones. Very sweet. The only thing I could think that would make it sweet would be 
another preservative, like a dextrose or something. Some tahinis are sweeter than others. Some have more bitterness, depending if like they're with raw um, sesame seeds or roasted. But there wouldn't be anything you would normally add that would make it sweet, unless it's like even like roasted garlic, maybe. So I'm curious the ingredients in this one because there's a really interesting sweetness. This also has a weird like spiciness to it. Maybe it's something with the garlic. I don't know. Sweet and spicy, weirdly. This one's really fluffy. Also has a really good schmear effect. I feel like as, I don't know if you did this on purpose, but as we go down the line, the schmearing gets a lot, a lot better. Like this one's just like chunky as ever. It's really nutty, also very creamy. Almost has like a toasted sesame oil, like Asian kind of flavor to it. Or maybe it just has sesame oil in it. Cause I've seen some that people do put sesame oil. Makes sense. Hummus is made with tahini, why put olive oil, put sesame oil. You almost don't taste the beans where like these ones that are very dark, like a lot darker in color, you really taste the garbanzo flavor and the chickpea flavor. As you get into ones that have more tahini, it's kind of like, it's about finding that perfect balance of garbanzo and tahini. I like this one. I could eat this one. Let's try it with a chip. It's good. I would buy this one for a party. It's not too sour. It's creamy. You can really taste the tahini. It's not chunky. We'll see what the brand is. <laughs> and then we have our last one also has the schmear effect. Very fluffy. Depending like how you blend the hummus, some, I guess some companies or factories use like blenders or food processors. So when you use like a blender, you get a lot more air whipped into it versus like a food processor that something like this looks like it came from like a bare food mill kind of thing. Also very nutty, very creamy, very tahini, not too sour. I don't taste much garlic in any of these. They're all like classic hummus, which normally would have a little bit of garlic, but none of them are too strong on garlic. So I'm curious if they actually have any garlic. This one has like a mashed potato texture, which is actually very desirable. <laughs> yeah, these last two are good. It, good-ish. Like store-bought hummus, just, it will never compare to fresh made. Even like, if you make fresh hummus, like two days later, the taste always changes. Beans tend to ferment very fast. The mixture of the tahini with the acid, the texture changes once you refrigerate it. So like, homemade same day from dried beans that you soak and then you cook and then you blend like that's the flavor is hundred thousand times different it's just different i would definitely these could definitely be doctored up you could add a chutney or a slug which is like an israeli spicy hot sauce you could add flavors to these roasted red peppers like these are good bases for you to buy at home and do something with this side of the table. <laughs> this side of the table, don't really know what you could do with it. <laughs> you could definitely blend it again <laughs> with some more tahini. That's what I think they're really missing is tahini. And then this third one, it has a really raw chickpea flavor. I don't know if like, Maybe it's sprouted or I'd be, I'm just really interested to see what the package says, but I would never do anything with number three. <laughs> yeah, interesting, not good. Yeah, but these last three, they're creamy, they're not too tart, they're very smooth. Like you could definitely smear them in a wrap at home, easy peasy for a party, some olive tapenade, like they're good, they're, they're, manageable like your friends won't leave your party if you have these three on the end these ones i can't promise anything and then this middle one is just really watery i don't 
yeah, like if you were to put this in a sandwich or even as a dip, like if you were to add anything to this one, I feel like it would just turn to soup. It's almost like chickpea soup. Maybe you could use it as a base for a soup. <laughs> Um, the flavor wasn't bad, but texture wise, it's not very like dippable or creamy. <laughs> okay, well, sad day for Publix because yeah, this one's not very good. Um, they should stick to subs. <laughs> Sabra kind of had a feeling it would be in this more less tahini, chunky, bit sour category. Now this is the weird one that seems like raw. Really weird, it has tamari, vinegar, acacia, I don't even know what that is, safflower oil. Weird ingredients, never even seen this brand before, Roots. Every batch is sacred, okay. <laughs> sacred to who? Let's see this Publix one. Lemon juice, lemon juice from concentrate. At least it has real lemon juice, but then it has phosphoric acid. It has citric acid, potassium sorbate. Yeah, it's like all these store-bought hummuses. You take like such a beautiful, healthy, fresh ingredient, a chickpea, a very humble ingredient. But in order to make these things shelf stable, you gotta add these acids to it, which really change the flavor when you're comparing it to something homemade. And then I'm pretty sure Sabra had the same thing. Yeah, citric acid, potassium sorbate, soybean oil. It's like, come on, let's use olive oil. Um, okay, Fresh Market. Again, the two grocery stores are probably my two worst ones. The watery one, well, this was the really like raw chickpea and then the Publix one. Fresh market. Why do you even need to make your own brand of hummus? You carry 45 other companies. This one does not have any acid, like preservative acid, so that's kind of nice, but the texture is just like soup, like crema de malanga. <laughs> yeah, and sunflower oil. Yeah, it has water as one of like, is the third ingredient, so that's probably why. I'm always curious about this brand. I've never actually bought it, but I see it a lot. Tahini, sunflower oil, cold pressed lemon juice, vinegar. Again, these both had vinegar. I've never put vinegar when I make hummus, but maybe that helps preserve it. This one has cumin. This one had a lot of cumin, I think. Again, vinegar. This one has crushed red pepper. That's what I was seeing, little pepper flakes. And that's why I thought it was spicy. And this was the one I thought was sweet. Non-GMO, kosher, yeah. This is like the hipster one out of all of them. Probably what I would go for in the grocery store. This one's organic, cedar. I actually, yeah, this is my don't hate it side of the table. Really good ingredients until the last one. Chickpeas, organic tahini, oils, has olive oil, sea salt, garlic, citric acid again, cumin, and guar gum. Not sure why you need a gum chickpeas are already thick when you blend it so weird extra ingredient there and then boar's head never even seen this one very pink sesame tahini citric acid guar gum cumin pretty similar ingredients i wish i knew the actual recipe and <laughs> like the ratio of tahini and to see if I'm right because it definitely seems like these ones have a way higher amount of tahini. I would buy this one and this one and doctor it up a little bit, add your toppings, add your chutney, your roasted peppers, some olive oil, some za'atar. Would definitely stay away from this Publix deli classic hummus, really chunky, really sour way too much cumin. It's just not tasty. I would stick with their like potato salad or something in that section. <laughs> Sabra, I don't know, it's just like such a classic. People see it, they grab it, they go for it, they buy it. They're the leaders. But in comparison to these other ones, it's, it's not as good, sad to say. I would think their classic hummus should just be like legit, legit. For me, it's too sour, not enough tahini. It's creamy. Still a little bit chunky though. These ones are way creamier. 
This one was just weird. It really tasted raw. I would definitely not go for this one. It has a weird soy sauce ingredient that, yeah. No, I don't know why, but everyone buys it. So like you probably will just buy this one, but not great. <laughs> weird ingredients, cute packaging. Fresh market, absolutely not. It's literally chickpea soup. Ithaca, cool. I know they have cool flavors. I've seen it. I like it. it. It has like an interesting sweetness. I like the crushed red pepper, a tiny bit spicy. I feel that's a little bit weird though because it says classic. So if you're not expecting spicy, it is spicy. The organic one is good. It's creamy, the cedars. Yeah, same with this boar's head traditional, which is interesting that like the boar's head and the Publix are really different because they're kind of like in that same section in the grocery store. <laughs> Um, yeah, I would go Ithaca, Cedar, traditional boar's head on this side. And unfortunately, not my friends over here. <laughs> Sorry, Fresh Market. Just write hummus soup. It's a new product. Maybe you can sell it in a different way, but definitely not for a party, not for dipping. Even in the picture, it looks like creamy, that schmearable. You should be able to do this thing. It's like a wave, you know, like you gotta like do the schmear, right? Like you can't do that when it's water uh, or chunky. So yeah. Is it weird I'm not taking a full spoon and I'm just like licking it? <laughs> yeah, there's no, nobody's gonna double dip, so. I'm like trying to get that texture. It's hummus is all about the mouthfeel, so it's not just like swallowing it and then like, yeah, it's like I'm trying to like figure out what's happening. <laughs> 